Hello there, and welcome to this lesson on Roman numerals. We are listening to The Pines of Rome by Ottorino Respighi. Let's go ahead and get started. So we've been talking about all kinds of triads. Today we're going to look at the types of triads that occur naturally in keys. First of all, in the major key. So if we were to build triads on the scale degrees in a major scale, then the resulting chord types would be the same for all major keys. And we can use Roman numerals to represent these chords. So for example, in the key of C major, I'll always have a major C chord. In this case, it's the one the first over the first scale degree in the scale. So we're going to call that chord one. Um, we also have major uh, chords over four and five, right? And over D, E, and A, since we're in the key of C, those are going to be minor triads. So we have the minor two chord, the minor three chord, and the minor six chord. And as we know, above the B, we normally get a diminished triad. So in the key of C, my uh, chord over scale degree seven is going to be diminished. So we have major one, minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six, and diminished seven. Uh, just to summarize then, one, four, and five are major triads in a major key. Two, three, and six are minor triads in a minor key. Notice we use lowercase uh, numerals for uh, minor triads. And seven is the diminished triad. Okay. Okay, so that's how it works for C major, but what Roman numerals would we use to represent the chords in these keys, in the key of D and in the key of G? They're the same, right? So they're the same qualities in any major key um, because the construction of a major scale is the same. So what does that mean? Well, it means this is a D, F sharp, A chord, so it's major. E, G, B is minor. F sharp, A, C sharp is minor. G, B, D is major. A, C sharp, E is major. B, D, F sharp is minor. And C sharp, E, G is diminished. So the accidentals in the key signature will cause the qualities of the triads in any major key to be the same. We can go through and do the same thing here for G major. Right, we have F sharp, A, C, which just makes this uh, diminished. Don't forget to look at the key signature. But this is handy information to know that all one chords in a major key are major, all four chords are major, all three chords are minor, all seven chords are diminished, and so on. It's a consistent um, quality of, of chords. All right, so again, the Roman numerals are the same for all major keys. And be sure then, when you're using Roman numerals, to tell me what key you are analyzing the music in. You need to indicate, because the numeral by itself doesn't tell me that it's a D chord, right? It just tells me that it's major and that it's the first chord in, or that it's based over scale degree one in, in that key. All right, now let's look at the types of chords that would happen in a minor key. Uh, also, if we were to build triads on any scale degree in a minor scale, uh, we would have the same chord types in every minor key. But these are not the same chord types you would have in a major key. So here we have C minor, and I've built triads over each one of the scale degrees. And if you uh, look at the quality of each one, we have C, E flat, G, so the one chord is minor. D, F, A flat, the two chord is diminished. E flat, G, B flat, which is a major triad, so major three. F, A flat, C, makes that minor. And since we're using natural minor, uh, this time we have a G, B flat, D, which would be a minor five. A flat, C, E flat, major six. And again, we're not going to raise the leading tone here. So we have B flat, D, F, making this um, major seven chord. So those are the types of chords that would occur naturally. Um, instead of a major one, a major four, and a major five, in a minor key, we end up having a minor one, a minor four, and a minor five. The three, six, and seven are major, and now the two is diminished. All right, so that is, um, that's the types of chords that would occur naturally in minor. Now, as you know, 
uh, various scale degrees in minor can be altered. And now we're going to look at what happens uh, when you raise those scale degrees. First of all, remember especially that scale degree 7 is variable. It can sometimes be uh, raised to the leading tone, and sometimes it's not. But uh, for several of the chords in minor, it is customary and very common to raise scale degree 7, to raise the leading tone. So scale degree 7, in this, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's the B, B natural, is raised from B flat. That's my leading tone in C minor. Um, notice that I've raised that um, twice. I've raised it in the 5 chord here to make that into a major triad, and I've raised it into the in the 7 chord to make that a diminished triad. You're not going to see it raised for the 3 chord, which is the only other place that note would occur, which would make that an augmented triad. There's there's no really no reason for uh, you to change that into an augmented triad. It doesn't improve the harmony in any way. So composers just didn't do it. So the minor 5 chord, which we had naturally, now becomes a major 5, which is much more common. 95% uh, of the time you will see it as a major dominant chord. And the major 7 chord, which we saw previously, which is also rare, um, becomes a 7 diminished chord, which is now common. So remember those two uh, differences there. And this is the, these are the Roman numerals that I would have you remember for minor keys, because these are the types of chords that are most typical for minor keys. Okay, so make a note of that. Uh, and again, don't raise the leading tone for the, for the E, I'm sorry, for the three chord. That would make it augmented, and, and that's in generally not a very useful chord. Okay, so here's a summary then of the types of triads that occur in major and minor keys, the uh, most common ones for minor keys. And I, I want to go ahead and play these for you also. So in C major we have major 1, major 4, major 5, we have minor 2, minor 3, and minor 6, and we have the diminished 7. So altogether it's major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, and then diminished, and then back to major. For the minor keys, let's just go through these in order. We have our minor 1 chord, the diminished 2 chord, major 3 chord, minor 4, the uh, major 5 chord, major 6, and the diminished 7 chord leading back to the minor one chord. Okay, um, and you might want to just take a minute to um, compare these as well. Notice that uh, the five chord and the seven chord, they have the same quality in major keys and minor keys since we raised the leading tone. Um, most of the other ones are going to switch qualities, right? So if you compare one and one, the major one becomes a minor one in minor, the minor three in major becomes a major three in minor, the major 4 becomes a minor 4, and the minor 6 becomes major 6. So those all switch qualities. Um, remember, though, that the 2 in major keys becomes a 2 diminished in minor keys, so that one's a little bit different. Alright, so again, those are the, these are the most type, common types of Roman numerals, and you should uh, certainly remember them. And then you can go ahead and take the quiz that follows.